Hey guys, Tarek Mary Face here. I am here. Hold on, jump. I am doing this video to help out Mr. Multi, who posted a question. So here it is. The problem as Mr. Multi is having is with drift in particular with the CRP. So I'm gonna basically go through some very basic, uh, uh, just just the basics of of finding angles and correction angles and that kind of stuff. And see how it applies to the CRP, and we're gonna do it. <coughs> I'm very clumsy today, and we're gonna do it uh, with the CRP and work through it this way. CDMVT and drift T. This is you might if you're doing gen nav. This is a godsend because it helps you a lot. When they give you problems, they'll give you a a, a de deviation, variation, or a drift of plus or minus. And it'll be west, left, or starboard for minus, or east, right, port for plus. And they'll use one of these four, four manners of explaining things. I don't know if you can see it with the camera, sorry. Um, but basically this is the same as this, is the same as this, is the same as this. This is the same as this, is the same as this, is the same as this. Is the same as this. You get it. Okay. So basically if you have, I don't know, 0, 090 0 here, a deviation of... 10 east and this will be 100. If you have 090 here but you have a deviation of 10 west, it's going to be 080 here, etc. So the thing is, the question uh, we're going to work through is a true track of 070 winds velocity 230 and sorry, 20 knots from 230 and the of 100. Now what you might notice immediately is that we don't need this half. We are only going to use this bit, because this bit is irrelevant for our question, but it's a good thing to remember the whole thing. Just write it down anyway. So we have a true track of 070. 070. And so far, that's all we know. Okay. So we're going to take our CRP, our trusty little whiz wheel, put the center dot on 100, like we have it now, and we're going to spin it to the wind direction where it's coming from. Zero. 230. Bam. Mr. Multi, you probably know this, but it's just for the sake of exercise. 20 knots below the center line, we give a little cross. Fantastic. Okay. Now, we are going to rotate it to 070 at the top. So let's do this. 070. And make sure that we're still on the center dot 100. Make these checks always. Bam, okay. So now what you see is that we have a drift of about three degrees, four degrees ish. Now, had this been fixed value, we could just put three or four degrees in here. But we don't know what the value is. And if you can look at the top, you'll see it's east. Now remember, um shoot. Sorry, I actually got this wrong. This is true heading. This should be crossed out and we have 070 here. If only you guys were here to tell me off. Yeah, sorry, true track here, 070. My mistake. Um, and I actually want to go to here. Now, we know that, well, that you know, the correction is going to be pretty small here. So it's very likely to stay east. So we're going to put a certain value east. Uh, east, and there you go. So this is going to be positive. That means that 070 is smaller than whatever the true heading is. So true heading has to be bigger than 070 degrees. Okay? It has to be. And the only way you can do that is to rotate the top counterclockwise. So we're going to rotate the top counter counterclockwise. Um, listen, multi, because this is the bit you're having difficulties with. Um, to for now for zero th about three degrees the uh, drift so we're gonna zero seven zero three degrees now we're gonna go back to the cross have a look it's four degrees so we're gonna move one degree over and it's about four and a half so we move a half over and it stays about there <laughs> you guys might be thinking I'm a bit crazy going to half degrees but believe me these exams go down to about a knot of accuracy in like two degrees of accuracy so it's really important to work accurately in this accurately and fast so here we've got 
about four and a half degrees there and four and a half there and we're going to get if we do this so it's four and a half so if you were to put 4.5 here we will end up here with 0 074.5 degrees we can round that up to 0 075 for now and what you'll find is at the top you can have exactly 0 0.5 right there seven sorry 0 0.74 ah 074.5 there you go i've said it in the end but i hope this is the question that you wanted to answer mr multi um this is the whole parity problem uh, with the whole movement of drift this is it there's there's n there's no complication to it um uh, the drift on the cross has to be the same as the drift at the top that's all it is literally all it is to it it's there's nothing more uh one more thing mr multi you told me you use a crp1 now the crp1 is fine since it's this it's pulley it's the same designer as well uh, the problem is this, the crps as a rule of thumb are, are pretty poor um flight computers in terms of accuracy they're great for learning but they're pretty poor in terms of accuracy the examiners use CRP5 and sometimes they'll request like in some ridiculous questions they have they have a act you know a difference of one or two knots per per thing so you know you make a small mistake when moving the slide up and down and you're gonna end up with with the wrong answer so I would strongly recommend getting the the CRP5 even if it is that much more expensive it's it's you know it's your education of aviation you're spending so much might as well go through with it anyway thank you for listening Mr. Multi I hope that answered your question I hope everyone else who if anyone else had difficulties with this hope uh, I managed to help you there I'm Tarek Maryface and if you got any more questions go ahead and post whatever I'll be more than glad to try and help Okay, uh, take care, happy flying, and I'll see you soon.